I'm Jonathan Darty, and I am the Button Man. The Penn State pride runs deep in our family. My dad graduated in 1972 with his AE degree. All my siblings are alums of the university. From the very young age, uh, we were indoctrinated into the Penn State way. We always joke that we bleed blue and white. There's no place I'd rather be on a Saturday in the fall, and I can attribute that to my dad. My parents were season ticket holders since 1972. It was really an opportunity for us to spend time together as father and son, and also the values that we learned from my mom and dad were echoed in the values of Penn State. August 7th, 2004, is etched in my brain and in my heart because it was the day that we lost my dad. My family was on summer vacation in North Carolina. My mom and dad went on a little road trip to look at other areas where they could potentially retire. And about an hour later, police officers came to let us know that there had been an accident. My mom was in very critical condition. My dad had passed away. It was the worst day of my life. I was 28 years old and I had become the patriarch of the Darty family. Not something I was prepared for. Although now, in retrospect, I realized my dad was preparing me for it the entire time. The legacy of my dad and the legacy that I hope to be able to translate through my career is one of service. After my dad's passing, I kind of thought, how do I continue to keep his memory alive? And in my research, I realized the bank football buttons actually started the year my dad graduated from Penn State. In 2005, my mom was very involved with the Penn State Club of Wyoming Valley. And she had asked me if I would be willing to carry the banner in the annual homecoming parade. And we said, we need some kind of shtick instead of just holding the banner. I'd been collecting the buttons uh, for about a year. Why don't we do something with the buttons? Dr. Jonathan Darty, better known as the Button Man. How many buttons does he have on The term the Button Man is actually something that happened organically. We didn't come up with that. Uh, it wasn't something that was planned. As we're walking the parade route, everybody's yelling, it's the Button Man, it's the Button Man. I laid in bed and I thought to myself, okay, I'm the Button Man now. One of the things I love the best about being the button man is the reaction that I get from people when they're up close with the button coat. There are a thousand buttons. Maybe it's their graduation year. Maybe it was the year they started at Penn State. But there is a real reaction that people feel and a nostalgia when they see the different buttons. That organic type of love that I feel from the Penn State community when I'm the button man just can't be matched. You know, I'm not quite sure what my dad would think about the button man. Um, when I was growing up, I was a pretty shy and introverted kid. I think he'd be pretty surprised to know that out of this tragedy that our family experienced, there's something that brings joy to so many Penn Staters. We have the shared experience of Penn State, but each of us has a unique and deeply personal story to tell. My family did give me Penn State, and Penn State has since given me a family.